Hello everyone and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Brandy and I work in the reputation and brand management department at the college. I will serve as the host for today's session. Before we begin, um, I have a few housekeeping items. The audience webcams and mics are turned off for this session. So if you have any questions throughout, just click the, click the little question mark that's on your screen, type in your question, that will come to me and I will gather those throughout the presentation for a live Q&A after um, Jody and Ashley present. If you have any questions after the session, of course, we have many routes to get uh, answers. We recommend you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca and you will find other contact information at the end of the presentation today as well. If you have multiple programs open and running, it may compromise your web experience. So we do make a recommendation that you take a moment to close um, any extra programs now, but again, that's up to you. Now, um, our session today is Be Well, Learn Well, Connecting Your Education, Career, and Lifestyle at Fanshawe. I'm going to pass things over to Jody and Ashley, who will do a presentation, and then I will be back for a Q&A after. Over to you guys. Hi, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, we're really excited to um, share with you everything that we offer at the Wellness Centre at Fanshawe College. Uh, my name is Jody Anderson and I am the Fitness and Wellness Program Director at the um, Wellness Centre. And uh, I kind of oversee the daily operations of the centre and help with all the wellness programming. And I'll let Ashley introduce herself. Hi guys, uh, my name is Ashley Wilhelm and I am the Wellness Manager um, at the Fanshawe Student uh, Wellness Centre. Um, so again, I do a lot of work with uh, the wellness programming at Fanshawe um, and overseeing that and implementing that so that you guys have uh, great wellness programs to help you with your education and your overall lifestyle. And a fabulous job she does at that as well. So um, I would be uh, really lost if I didn't have uh, Ashley with me for wellness manager. Um, so today we just wanted to talk to you about um, health and wellness at Fanshawe College and how this um, relates to the students there and their well-being and their mental health and how that can translate into helping them into their academics as well. So we know that a healthy, well-balanced students are also successful students. And I know that, um, you know, parents and students, when you come to college, the expectation is it's academics and that's your focus when you're here. And it should be your focus, obviously, because um, that's what you're here for, is for your education. But your college life revolves around much more than just exams and studying and, um, and work. Uh, it also, there's also other aspects to your college life that are equally as important to your development and that can carry with you for the rest of your life. And um, those are, you know, social aspects with friends. You, you make friends and make connections that will sometimes last a lifetime with you. And, um, and we also uh, help you with learning healthy lifestyle, um, you know, just lifestyle um, ways to live your life outside of, of just working hard all the time to keep you well balanced. So we really focus on that. So our goal is to connect your education and your career goals for the future with your lifestyle to make it easy, easily manageable uh, for you. So we wanna make sure that you are living a well-balanced uh, life when you're on campus and that you're learning those healthy lifestyle skills that you can carry forward for the rest of your life. So we do that by offering um, a variety of programs and services at the Wellness Center. So we have, um, as Ashley had mentioned, she is the wellness manager. So we do have a lot of wellness programming that focuses on all the, the pillars of wellness. So there's physical, there's emotional and social, there's mental health. Uh, we, we try to include everything. So again, that we have that, that balance. So this is what the wellness center looks like uh, right now outside. It's a, it's a beautiful building. It's um, going on three years old. So it's still very new. It's very high tech and uh, lots of innovative um, workout equipment and, and machinery in there. 
So we have two floors of fitness equipment and programming. So this is a good view of what those two floors look like. And they're two full floors of fitness equipment. And, um, and we do have trainers on site that are there to help students if they're unsure how to use any of the equipment. If they need help, we can set up beginner programs with them so that they can work out and uh, make sure that they're sticking with those um, healthy fitness goals. As well as nutrition, we can do some nutritional guidance that falls within our scope of practice. Uh, we don't offer um, um, meal plans yep. but we can guide you with um, your good nutrition so this is just a, a view of we do have group exercise classes this is a spin class that we offer and we do have uh, technically four different studios on our main level we have two studios that are one large studio that can be broken up into two studios we have a mind body studio on the third floor that just focuses on um, meditation, mindfulness um, activities, as well as yoga. We have a full yoga program as well. And then this is our spin space and our spin studio. So these programs and classes are, um, they, you can sign up for them and all of these services are included with your membership as a student. And as a full-time student at the college, this is all included with your membership, uh, with your tuition. So um, there's no extra fees that you have to put uh, forward when you come to campus. Some of the other amenities and programs we have, we have a rock climbing wall, which is amazing. And um, we have an amazing rock climbing coordinator and she is constantly having challenges and programs that she offers in the rock wall. And it's for all levels. So if you're a beginner, we do have auto belays. And like I said, we do have staff that are there to help you so that you don't have to be concerned about um, if you don't know how to climb. Um, and it is a very, very popular uh, place on campus, the Rock Climbing Well. You will see, yes, we do have a golf simulator that is also an amazing um, feature and, and program that we have for the students. So the golf simulator uh, also has zombie golf, so that's pretty cool. And, um, and you can do um, any type of challenges for the longest drive. And there is actually a soccer um, component that's to it as well. So it's not just golf. There is simulated soccer that we added just last year. And there are there is squash as well. So we do offer squash and we have all the equipment. So students, when uh, they come on campus, they are not required to have any of the equipment. Although if you do have your own golf clubs, you can bring them. And if you have your own squash equipment, you can bring that as well. But we do offer that to the students so that they can take part. Um, and it's just a quick, you know, sign out with a student card and you uh, get the equipment. So also in the facility, in the wellness center itself, in the building, there's the Fowler Kennedy Sports Medicine Clinic. So if you experience any type of injuries when you're away from home, if you play sports, uh, they do, we do have uh, physiotherapists there on site and specialists to help with rehabilitation, as well as, as their general uh, practitioner doctors there as well. So um, if students are feeling ill, they can make appointments and see a doctor on site. So that's a, a very nice feature to have. And it's also comforting for parents to know that there is something on site for the students. There's also a pharmacy on campus. So if you need prescriptions filled or any medicines, there's a full pharmacy right on campus. So that's also very comforting to know. There's counseling services and private rooms. So um, in the wellness center, there is what we call the wellness services area and there are private rooms. So if students are experiencing some issues with mental health or if they're just, their stress levels are a little bit elevated because it's exam time or they just, you know, they're just having a hard time coping with being away from home. There are counseling services and uh, we're very fortunate to have a team of very wonderful counselors and, um, and we do have the private rooms in the wellness center so that it takes away from um, the stigma of going to the counseling office. It, um, it's very private and it's, um, it's great because it, it takes that, um, that stigma away of going to counseling and they're great counselors. So um, students, if they uh, want to register for their membership, so like I said earlier, every student that is a full-time student um, on the London campus will have access to the Wellness Centre and there's no extra fee, it's all built into your tuition and it's very simple for the students to activate their membership. Uh, they will all have a web advisor account once they've registered as a student 
And it's as simple as going on to their own web advisor account and they fill out the wellness center get active questionnaire. So it's a questionnaire just to make sure that, um, you know, it's like a medical screening just to make sure that everybody's okay and they're healthy and they understand that they're going to be partaking in a, a fitness activity. And uh, there's a consent form, making sure that they know they're consenting to um, taking, you know, taking on some physical activity. And then once they've completed those forms and hit submit, then their student card is actually their access into the facility. And 24 hours after they complete those forms, their card in cyberspace uh, will automatically be activated as long as they've answered you know, appropriately to all the questions and we feel that they it'll be safe for them to come in and start an exercise program, then their card will be activated and they'll be able to use uh, the facility. So. It's a very easy process for the students and we wanted to make it that way. We wanted to make sure that there weren't any barriers for the students uh, to access those services. Because sometimes it can be um, scary to come to a, a big fitness facility and, um, and, and the barrier of how to sign up and coming to talk to somebody can be a problem sometimes. So we wanted to take that barrier away. Now, currently we are uh, closed, the facility, uh, because of COVID-19 and everything that's happening in the world. The college has been very good with making sure that they are safe and they're keeping the students safe. Um, so the facility itself is currently not open, but because the college uh, feels very passionately about this and how it's very important for the students to uh, for their well-being and their mental health uh, they we are still offering services virtually to the students so we do have a facebook page that we uh, offer all our programs and services we have classes and um and whatnot in an instagram so i'm gonna let i'm gonna let ashley take over and she's gonna tell you sort of what we're doing now virtually, just so that um, you can see that even though the facility is closed, we still make sure that uh, we're keeping the students best interest and well-being at heart. So Ashley, you can take it away. Awesome, thanks Jody. So as Jody mentioned, uh, right now we are running uh, most of our programming through either Facebook uh, and or Instagram. Um, we are offering live seminars, classes, events. So just to give you some ideas of what some of those things have uh, could look like, we are running classes. Uh, we're doing about three a week. Uh, so you see us, you see Jody and I right now um, on the screens. We're recording classes. Uh, sometimes we're able to do them together. Sometimes you'll just see one one of us. Um, but we are running those classes. We are working very hard to ensure that those classes are um, not requiring large amounts of equipment because that's not something that students often have. They might have access to, you know, one or two things. Maybe you have a dumbbell at home or something you can use as a weight. Um, but for the most part, they are um, using things that you'll have in your either your residence room if you're living in residence or in um, your home. We are running, um, so we do th about three of those a week, and then we've run a few special events as well um, with uh, the student union. So we've done um, a cooking show, which was incredibly successful, um, and we will hopefully be uh, doing some more of those. So really simple recipe ideas that allow you guys to uh, make things in your dorm room. Um, so even if you don't have access to uh, an oven or a stove, um, simple, simple things that you can do and that are quick and easy for you. Um, motivational Mondays. So Mondays, we uh, put out a workout every Monday. Um, it's usually like a high intensity interval style training. So it gets your heart pumping. It gets your week started off well. Um, and then we have either motivational quotes or self-care quotes, um, just something to kind of keep you motivated and start your week off right. Uh, Tuesdays, we've been doing um, some different interviews with uh, other areas on campus. So we've done uh, interviews with counseling, counseling and accessibility. Um, we've done interviews with uh, library services, uh, career services, different different um, areas of the college that are still offering services virtually. 
Um, or we use TED Talks. Uh, so there's lots of great TED Talks out there. So we'll share different TED Talks about health and wellness. Um, uh, next slide, Jody. Uh, Wellness Wednesday is kind of a catch-all. So we do a lot of different things on Wellness Wednesday, anything from mental health awareness. So we have lots of resources uh, that we work with counseling and accessibility to share, um, nutrition information, stress management, stretches, health and wellness tips um, that include things uh, regarding sleep, uh, nutrition, fitness, um, you know, healthy relationships, all kinds of things. We try and cover a wide range of health topics so that it's not all fitness and only fitness because there are alcohol so consumption. Others. Oh yeah. <laughs> we also <laughs> talk about healthy, safe, safe alcohol practices. consumption. Yes. Yep. Uh, um, so yeah, Wednesdays, we kind of, uh, each week we have a specific focus. Um, so usually we pull one of those topics and we're focusing on it for the duration of the week. Um, and then sharing tips and tricks and strategies around developing those things in your life. Thursdays, we focus on social connection. Obviously right now, this is a big one, especially with the facility not being open. It's a lot harder to connect when you're sitting in front of your computer um, or doing even your, your workouts at home just in front of your computer by yourself. Uh, so we do share a lot of um, different things that the student union is doing. They are running some incredible events online um, that give you the opportunity to connect um, and engage in those things like trivia, bingo, different things like that. So we, um, they're doing a couple of events every week. So they are definitely covering um, the social connection thing. If you are an international student, they also offer a variety of uh, different events that cater to different nationalities. So that's something to watch from the student union as well. And we do a lot of collaboration work as well as sharing a lot of their stuff. On Fridays, we call it Fun Fitness Fridays. Um, it always looks different. Uh, we try and do a different class, so mix it up, something a little bit different that you don't see each week from us. Um, we will do different challenges, uh, weekend challenges or daily challenges on Fridays, just things to kind of get you end your week on a good note and start your weekend off right. Um, so you can find us virtually through our website, which uh, you'll see all of our contact information on the screen there. Um, our website is studentwellnesscenter.ca, uh, center spelled R-E, that is a common mistake that uh, is made. Um, and then we're on Facebook as well, so my recommendation there would be search Fanshawe Student Wellness Center. And then Instagram, our Instagram handle is Fanshawe SWC. So Fanshawe Student Wellness Center is what that stands for. Like I said, all of that programming that we are pushing out virtually right now can be found uh, between those three platforms. Uh, most of what we're putting on Facebook, um, we're also putting on Instagram right now. So if you're in only one spot, you will see most of the programming. Um, some of our virtual classes are only on our Facebook page. So if you're looking for classes, that would be the best spot to go. Um, our Instagram account is a little newer. So if you're visiting our Facebook page, you will see content from all the way back in March when we uh, closed the facility. Um, so there is, there is three to five classes a week through that uh, page. So there's lots to choose from. Um, if you scroll back in into the past to see some of those classes. Do we want to see if we can pull up the Facebook page and see what it looks like? Will that work? Let's see. Let's try it. While that's happening, just a reminder to everyone, if you do have any questions, just click the little question mark that's on your screen, type in your question, that will come to me and I can present it back to Jody and Ashley for the answer. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's just, um, 
just a little look at, at what we offer. Um, yesterday, uh, we did, um, we posted a, I'm just having a little problem here, but um, we posted a, a TED talk about self-care. Maybe we just won't do that. Okay, we'll go out of it. It's not, it doesn't like us right now, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, but we've posted a lot of information. Um, we're, uh, right now we have a, um, a campaign, it's a self-care campaign that we are launching with the students um, at the college. And really what the self-care campaign is, is to really um, make the students understand what self-care is, because sometimes people don't really understand what self-care is. And, um, and it's more of an education piece. And self-care can mean many things to many people. And it's not always working out. It's not always being in the gym, working out, or going to yoga and being physical. That is an aspect of self-care. Uh, but there's many other avenues. Uh, a lot of the times it's just, it can just be sitting quiet and meditating. It can, it's just taking time for yourself to refuel and to reboot yourself, to um, do what you need to uh, refresh yourself and make sure that you have the energy to continue on. So it's very important. And we really want students to understand that it's really important to take care of themselves because again, that translates into into their studies and uh, and their academics. So again, it's that whole piece that you know healthy students and well balanced students will create successful students. And we really truly believe in that. And uh, we really have lots of services. There's so many services on campuses on this campus that is um, committed to that with the students and really wants to help them be successful, but be well rounded so that they can. Um, carry that forward into life because once you leave college and you're going off into your career, you still need to keep that going These, for the rest of your life. You still need to make sure that you have self-care. So we really believe it's our job to um, create that foundation for the students. So any questions, um, make sure you're going into the chat and um, we'll take a look. Questions are. Let me just so, click here. Okay. I, I can get back to you with a, a start with a couple of questions if you don't okay. mind. Yeah. Um, there's some pretty similar questions around who has access to the services um, regarding can I bring my children? Um, can I bring other family members? So this, the uh, wellness center is um, just open for um, the students and staff at the college. So there is no um, community allowed in uh, because we want to make sure that all the services are and there is enough space for the students because we do have uh, 15,000 plus students that are on the campus that could be using that facility. We need to make sure that it's open. So we um, do not allow. That doesn't mean that if there is a student on campus if they're away from home and a family member comes to visit or a friend that we may that we won't consider allowing that person to come for a day to use it uh, with a friend but it's not our regular practice excellent um as an international student do i have access to these services yes uh, full-time students in the london campus have access to all the services and like i said everything that we've shown you with um, the group classes and virtual and everything that we offer that's all part of the membership which and the fee for the membership is all built into tuition for full-time students excellent um i'm going to be a downtown london campus student does that mean i don't get access Nope, you do have access. So London campus, uh, the South campus, and uh, sort of all the campuses in London. So the downtown, the Oxford campus, and the South campus all have access to the Wellness Center. Perfect. Um, I get intimidated by gyms. Is there someone that can train me on how to use the equipment? Yes, Ashley, you can answer this one. Yeah, so we do um, offer a what we call an orientation program. So basically, it gives you kind of an overview of the equipment. You will meet uh, with, uh, with um, one of our trainers on site, and they will walk you through basically a, an introductory program. Um, they'll go through it with you. They'll show you how to use the equipment, um, let you try it, give you any sort of feedback that 
uh, you need to uh, improve your form and that kind of stuff to make sure you're doing everything safely. So absolutely, if you if you feel a little bit intimidated walking into a, into a fitness center, um, there is going to be the opportunity for uh, you to kind of get get the ropes shown to you by someone who works at the wellness center. Mm -hmm. we, we truly believe like it's very important because we do understand that there is that intimidation factor and a lot of people they want to um, start this a change in their lifestyle and it's sometimes very difficult for them to do so in in the beginning because it, it can be very intimidating there's there's lots to know and uh, there's lots of people there and and we really believe that uh, we want to hold your hand from start to finish to make sure that you're successful uh, because um, what upsets us the most is when we see somebody come and they start and then and then they stop and and as fitness professionals we think what what could we have done better to continue to to allow them to continue to make it um, more comfortable for them that they want to so we always internalize it back on us what didn't we do to um, make sure that it was um, yeah. something that you can sustain yeah excellent um are the spin and yoga classes included in our membership Yes. So all of so we have a full group exercise uh, schedule and program of classes. So the the uh, facility on campus, so the wellness center, is run just like any other fitness facility. You would like a commercial fitness facility. We have all of our our staff are certified, highly trained. They have the Canadian Gold Standard and certifications for personal training for group exercise. So it's it's high quality, uh, wonderful programs and services, and that's all part of the membership. So there's no extra fees for that. So you have, you know, the best of the best yoga instructors, there's boot camp, there's spin classes, there's um, power barbell classes, there's, you know, every class we have dance X, Zumba, all of it. Excellent. Um, a similar question, but in the aspect of the counseling sessions, are they included or do I need to pay extra? No, the counselors are there. It's all part of, of services as a student um, on campus. So um, those are all services available to you. Um, they have a counseling. Um, so hopefully people will be in on, go to that, um, that session as well with the counselors because um, it's it's really a great thing to have. Uh, they offer, I'll speak very briefly of what I know what they do, but um, they do have one-on-one um, -on -one sessions. So there are sessions that you can book um, that you can have ongoing counseling sessions with the counselor if that's the need, if they feel that that is the need. Um, they have one-off sessions, um, single session counseling that happens in the wellness center. So if if you feel that you just need to talk to somebody for, and it's and, and maybe you have an issue that can be solved you know, very quickly, and it's just within an hour session talking with a counselor, then they have those sessions available as well. As well as they have um, teamed up with the Canadian Mental Health Association and they, um, CMHA, I believe that's the proper, yep. <laughs> and they come in in the evenings and they have a crisis center as well there too. So um, right now they're offering those services virtually, um, but in, um, you know, pre-COVID times they come in and uh, they have those services from 4 until 9 p.m. Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, but I think they extended that as well. So if there are students that are in um, severe crisis and they need um, some help right away, then there are counselors there as well. Wonderful. Um... Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, climbing wall. The climbing wall looks super cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Do is there someone to train me on how to use it? Yes. So um, we have a rock wall coordinator, and she is fabulous. Um, again, I don't know what we would do without her either. She's amazing. Um, so she we do what we have with the rock climbing wall because we are very careful with it obviously for the health and safety we have a training session so it's a two-hour training session that our staff will go through uh, with the students 
on how to belay, how to tie your belay, how to climb, all the technique that's involved, the safety, health and safety measures that you need to take and, and uh, making sure. So we have two different types of climbing that you can do. There's the auto belay, and then there's where a belaying where you would need to have a partner. So if you don't ever wanna do that type of, of um, activity where you want to belay with somebody and have a partner with you, then you can just do the auto belay and you can just drop in and you don't have to have the training. It's like 10 minutes in the very beginning. And the all what the auto belay means is that you just hook into your um, harness. You just hook in to the actual rope and there's a machine at the top that belays the rope with you as you go up. So it's like an automatic and you can just climb. So that's the best a way for beginners to start and it takes 10 minutes to show you how to do it and we have stuff stuff there all the time to help and make sure in fact the rock wall isn't open unless we have our staff there to help out excellent there's a follow-up question for that um do you know if there's a weight limit for the rock wall um good question for the auto belays yeah i just can't remember what it is yeah i can't remember what it is for the auto belay there is um, for um, if you have a partner with belay, I believe there is, but it's not it's not as uh, stringent as maybe the auto belay. I don't really know the answer to that question. I know there is a weight limit though, so perfect. Um, if, they, if they email wellness at fantasy.ca, will they be able to get the answer? Yes, yes. Then Sorry. if they email, then then we will uh, search out and we can answer that. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I'm just interpreting some of these questions uh what kind of services do you offer to the students um so for anyone that, that's just joining us um the presentation will happen again at 11 a.m if you want to stick around till then uh to be able to uh learn about all the different services that are offered through the wellness center uh, do you have a dress code yes yeah. we do <laughs> yes, we do. Um, so we do have a dress code. Um, so basically, it's um, no midriff showing. Um, it's um, you like you can wear tank tops, but it's um, help me out, Ashley. There's there's no so specific. No rib cage. No rib cage. So no like no midriff. Yeah. Okay. So you can wear tank tops and whatnot. Yeah. So it's just um, not. You can't just wear a sports bra or. Um, uh, the guys generally will have a tank top that's cut really that's low, low. Um, so you can't have your rib cage or midriff showing and um, bottoms just you know shorts and you know um, so it's not as um, restrictive as some uh, as some um, dress codes but we do have one excellent and indoor running shoes of course indoor athletic wear yep um so a question regarding food, um, you mentioned nutrition. Um, there's a question wondering what kind of healthy food options are on campus? Well, right in the Wellness Center, there is Booster Juice. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, that slide's missing from, from this. I think uh, we forgot to put that slide in here, but there is a Booster Juice right uh, beside the front desk, so that's a healthier option. Some I good know... feedback about booster juice. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> it's right there, and it is really delicious. We like it too. So there is booster okay. juice. It's, it's right beside busy. the pharmacy. Well, yeah, yeah, it's always busy. Um, the there is the Outback Shack on campus as well, and they have healthier. It's your traditional sort of bar and grill type of food, but they also have healthier options as well. The Oasis, which is in the student center, they have fabulous um, healthier options there as well they have a large salad bar um, option they have a pasta you know station that you can make homemade pastas they have a uh, burrito bowls and um, so there there's lots of healthier those are just some that i know that are close but i know there's um other ones throughout the campus as well so and i i know that they are um, making a conscious effort to have a lot more healthier options available for students on campus that is that is definitely one of their um, initiatives. Excellent. Um, and of course, we're happy with that too. Yes, <laughs> we're of happy course. That they're doing that. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, are you open twenty four seven when you are open? No, we're not. So we um, 
We are open. So when we are open um, pre-COVID, we are open from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. Monday to Friday. And then on weekends, we're open from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. During the school year. Yeah, during school year. From In the summertime. September. Yeah, from September to, um, to uh, I guess, end of April, May, beginning yeah. of May. That's what our hours are. In the summertime, we shorten them a little bit. So not by much, but during no. the week, we close at 9 instead of 10. And then on the weekends, we close at 5 instead of 7. So still same opening hours, 6 a.m. during the week and 8 um, a.m. on weekends. Excellent. Now I'm just going to do one last call out for questions. If anyone has any more questions, just hit the question mark on your screen and type away. Um, that looks like I've reached the end of them for the moment, ladies. Um, I think I've got to the end of them. Let me do a double check just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like we have. Um, I don't see any more coming in. Any final thoughts or... We also offer, so I just want to talk a little bit about sort of the um, the training sessions that we offer, and we also offer fitness assessments. Uh, we have an in-body assessment that we offer that's a bioelectrical sort of um, uh, assessment, and um, it sounds kind of crazy until you've actually done it, but it uh, really works, you just and it tells and stand you. On a scale. Yeah, it just, <laughs> really? You just come in and stand on the scale, and you hold on to these handles, and it it will basically tell you the amount of water you have in your body, your um, your muscle mass that you have, body for body fat percentage, and it it gives you a good base. Um, we also can do another um, fitness assessment as well that involves um, skin fold calipers and um, and whatnot, a little bit more technical. Exactly. But um, the assessment is really great. A lot of times, uh, people like the assessment because it gives them a base to start with to say, okay, I'm here and um, and now I'm gonna work with the trainer. And and now when I say working with a trainer, we do have personal trainers. All of our staff are personal trainers. So that is an option. You can have personal training. That would be the only fee. That would be the only service that costs extra if you wanna have a personal trainer. That being said, as part of your membership, those same trainers will develop an individualized program for you so you will you can get one of those when you first start and you have your orientation. They can sit down and talk about your goals and uh, make sure they understand what it is you're looking for, and they will write a uh, write a program for you that will help you with those specific goals. And then they will show you through it, and then you go and do it on your own. And they'll check in with you periodically, and then you can have another revamp you know, uh, two to three months down the road. So that is also part of your membership. Now, personal training is very different. Personal training is having a trainer with you every single time you work out and putting you through the session. So, and that type of service does cost extra, but we do offer those at very reduced prices for the students. So um, we make it very feasible for the students if they want to have that. In fact, we do have a lot of police foundation students sometimes that hire our, our trainers yeah. to help them, you know, achieve their fitness goals that they need to for their program, paramedic students, um, nursing students, um, athletes, a lot of our varsity athletes will take advantage of that as well. So um, personal training is, is a very busy service for us as well on campus. Excellent. Well, that looks like we have reached uh, the end of our questions that are flowing in this morning. So I just want to thank everyone who submitted questions, everyone that attended. Uh, we hope that all of your questions in regards to wellness have been answered. But if you think of any more, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to wellness at fanshawc.ca. If you have other questions about the college, reach out to my future at fanshawc.ca. Um, or you can book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a recruiter at any time at fanshawc.ca slash connect. Um, feel free to join us for this presentation again at 11 a.m. or join Ashley for the Ask Me Anything session today from 12.30 to 2 uh, with any more questions that you may think of in regards to wellness at the college. Thank you, Jody and Ashley, so much for giving us all this wonderful overview of the wellness services at Fanshaw College. I just want to invite everyone to uh, enjoy the rest of Open House and have a Falcon awesome day. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.